junk DNA. It's not junk, guys. It's unplugged DNA. Why did they unplug it? Not junk. Because our cousins, unlike you've been taught, were way smarter than us. I'm not talking technologically smarter. I'm talking about spiritually yep. smarter. More in tune with nature, yep. more in tune with the universe, more in tune with the planet itself, the human resonant frequency of the earth. They had bigger brains, proven, because we found the skulls all over the planet. They had uh, probably, because of bigger brains, most likely had bigger pineal glands, which is your spiritual antenna. All humans right now, we have billions of magnetite <clears throat> crystals in our brains. We don't even use them. They probably had access to their magnetite crystals, which is what turtles use to navigate the oceans to come back to where they're going to lay their eggs. And birds, yep. they flock yep. to the south and the winter and so forth, all using the magnetic field. Well, we have the same capability, but right now we've been disconnected from using that. If a tsunami comes inland, before it even hits, all the wild animals run to the mountains and the hills. You never so see true. wild animals so getting true. swept away by a tsunami. We've been disconnected. You know, our DNA has been disconnected. We've been our disconnected. consciousness has been reduced. They've already scientifically proven and found out that a worship gene was embedded into the human genome. And they don't know mm -hmm. who did it, but they can tell you that it was around 200,000 years ago. The same time that they discovered that chromosome number two in the human body was taken out, fused together, and two taken telomere out. caps were put on each end. Again, yep. this is something done in a laboratory, admitted by mainstream scientists, but they can't figure Fact. out who did it. They can only tell you when. This is mind blowing. Junk DNA.